Hi, I'm John Pagano with Forest River, and today we're going to take a look at the Sunseeker 2400B built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500 chassis. This is a full wall slide floor plan that you're just going to love. Let's take a look. Today we're going to take a look at some of the top features of the interior of this Sunseeker 2400B, starting with the bunk area. This bunk features a queen size bed that's rated at 440 pounds. We do give some storage space up here for the kids' goodies and some power sources. And notice we have windows on either side of the bunk area to create wind flow uh, on those hot summer days. In addition, <clears throat> excuse me, in addition we have a 12 volt television up here, which actually has a double hinged arm on it. So you can actually pull it out here into the kitchen or tuck it up against the wall for the kids when they're going to bed. Uh, that runs directly off of your house batteries. We're going to talk about 12 volt kind of throughout this entire walkthrough to make sure you have a good understanding of what that powers. If you take a look down below, you see your cab area. A couple of great features about this Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. You'll notice right away the 10.25 inch M bucks uh, Mercedes screen with Hey Mercedes technology. This gives you the ability to operate the entire system by simply saying Hey Mercedes and telling the system exactly what you want to do. In addition, you have toggle switches on your steering wheel, so if you don't want to be speaking to the actual system and don't want to take your eyes off the road, you can use these toggles much like a mouse on a computer to control the entire system. And we're going to get a little bit more in depth on how this system works if you click the link below for, uh, for additional information. If you uh, raise your eyes up here, you'll see that there is a backup camera. This backup camera actually feeds your side view and backup camera into that screen and gives you a three-way screen. So you have a full 360 view of this entire motorhome when going down the road. This is obviously key because this is a 25-foot vehicle that sometimes can have blind spots if you didn't have this technology on this motorhome. Now that backup camera is what we call Eagle Eye technology where it sits on the top of the back of that wall and looks directly down on your hitch. But in addition, it sees as far out as the human eye can see. And when you're on a highway, you can see as far as five lanes. So you can really see those blind spots. To learn more about the technology of this Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, please visit our channel on YouTube. This particular chassis has very unique captain's chairs in the sense that both swivel, both have heat, and both have six-way power. Now the power for both seats is located actually on your door. So it'd be on the right-hand side if you're in the passenger seat the left hand side if you're in the driver's seat. To be able to swivel these, you kind of need them to be at a 90 degree angle so when they swivel they don't hit the door, but it creates another nice sitting area if you were to have guests. Uh, both of these seats come with a four inch booster seat, so if your guests don't want to sit directly on the ground, they actually are in the same exact color as the, as the seat, black, and you'll, you're sitting in more of a natural space where you're sitting with the rest of the actual living room. Turning our heads some, towards some of the technology in this motorhome, if you look above the entry door, you have the JBL headset. This controls speakers on the inside and the outside of the motorhome. You can actually play the, t the sound of the television on the inside or outside of this motorhome, or you can connect via Bluetooth for any streaming music uh, or podcast you'd like to listen to. You have a toggle right here for volume. Of course, also the volume on whatever you're Bluetoothing into this system will work as well. Right next to this may be one of the more important features on this motorhome, and that's the Firefly system. This is an intuitive touchscreen system that also pairs with your smartphone. In addition, we have smart pads th that located throughout the motorhome. So for those customers that don't want to deal with a screen for every um, button they have to push on this motorhome or get their smartphone out, we do have a strategically placed Bluetooth enabled touch pads throughout the entire motorhome that can actually be moved if need be since they work off of Bluetooth so the customer can put them in places that they feel more comfortable. This system is wonderful. I love it so much because when you turn the battery disconnect on it's immediately there for you. It doesn't take time uh, for it to actually load. It's automatically ready to work and one of the key features to this is that it actually has an auto gen start based on low battery or the ambient temperature in the air, or you can just set it to a timer. So in those instances where you may have uh, your pets here or you just want to keep this entire area co uh, temperature controlled, you can do that before you leave the motorhome or from your smartphone. So a really, really cool system. In addition to that, it, it controls all of your lighting systems, your leveling system, your generator, it controls your uh, exterior awning, 
uh, and various other items. If you'd like to learn more about this Firefly system, I would highly encourage you to go to our channel. We have a great video that really goes in depth on this system. I'm moving away from this a little bit. If you, if you turn your head up, we've got our Max Air Fan located right here in the middle of the kitchen. This Max Air Fan, if you're not aware of it, is a vortex fan. So it actually sucks air out of the motorhome, much like a vent fan in a house. And it's really dual purposed. By code, you just have to have a fan within five feet of your range. And we've done that here on this floor plan and every floor plan that we build. This is a much more efficient way to uh, f to keep the flow of whatever you're cooking air of air to go outside of this motorhome. But in addition, it creates a great drafting effect on those moderately hot days in the summer where you don't need to turn your AC on, where you can open a few windows, turn this max air fan on, and really get that, that flow through here and cool the motorhome down. In addition, we do give you a shroud that faces backwards so you can keep this open while you're driving or while it's raining. A really, really key feature that sometimes gets missed because your eye level doesn't look up when you're looking at a motorhome, but a great feature for us. Moving into the kitchen of this beautiful Sunseeker 2400B, you're gonna notice a couple of key items, but first I just wanna show you, this has a solid surface countertop with this sink cover that's actually made of the same material that covers your single basin stainless steel sink. The depth of this is about nine and a half inches, and it comes standard with this beautiful gooseneck faucet to be able to wash out the, ins the entire inside of this sink bowl. You'll, have a, you'll notice an MCD roller shade. This is gonna be the standard anywhere you have a window. These are slow rise and they can stop anywhere you want them to stop. Uh, they really keep that, those hot sun rays out on a, on a hot summer day, but also give you that privacy that's needed uh, either early in the morning or late at night. Some of the technology here, we do give you a hidden, kind of a hidden two burner stove here that gives you a flush mount. This gives you a little bit more counter space when you're not using it. And most importantly in here, you have a 1.3 cubic foot convection microwave oven. Notice we locate this below the range and we do that specifically because it gives you an easier way to get in and out of this microwave. By code, you have to be this much taller than the, the, the range. So trying to pull items out this high up, especially if they're hotter items, can be really cumbersome for some of our smaller customers. So we put it below the range to make it safer. In addition, if you can imagine if you had a conventional oven here and a convection oven up top, you would lose all of this storage space. So if you look here, you've got endless storage space. There's no style in between. And notice that all of these cabinets that close downward have soft close closing doors. Kind of moving out of this space, you'll notice our, our 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. This refrigerator runs directly off of your house batteries. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna talk about 12 volt throughout this entire video, and we're gonna end with a little tutorial on, on everything that, that those 12 volt batteries power. This is one of those items. And what I love about this refrigerator is that it's a residential refrigerator that just happens to run off of 12 volt power instead of 110. Now, we started this video probably about 30 minutes ago, and this refrigerator is ice cold. So we turned the battery disconnect on 30 minutes ago and this refrigerator has already cooled down. If you had a gas absorption or two-way fridge, you'd be waiting four to six hours for that to happen. But in addition, notice the space. This looks just like your refrigerator at home. It doesn't have ventilation taking up a third of the interior space. And on the outside of the motorhome, there is no ventilation. So those ventilations on the exterior of a motorhome are great places for bugs and debris and spider webs and heat or cold air to pass through. We've completely eliminated that with this refrigerator. Placed conveniently in the kitchen is your Bluetooth smart touchpad. Notice not every touchpad has the same exact uh, buttons on them. This particular one is obviously specific to the kitchen, but some of the living room area. There's one placed by your door that's gonna operate some of the items on the outside of the motorhome, like your lights uh, and your automatic step. And in the bedroom, there's one that obviously operates a lot of lights in the bedroom. Same with the bathroom. As I mentioned earlier, these could easily be moved. You would just remove this faceplate. There are four screws that screw right into the wall. They can be moved anywhere in the motorhome you want. Of course, at that point, you'd still be responsible to putty the holes in the wall. But if you want them in a specific place, you could absolutely do that without interrupting with the Firefly system and how it operates. 
Moving into the bathroom, a couple of highlights of this space. One would be our Oxenogenics shower head. So this shower head actually gives you 30% more water pressure with using the same amount of water as, as, an, as a normal shower head would. In addition, it's not fixed, so we can take this off to use it however we want uh, in this space. What I also love about this shower is notice we have a bowed shower curtain. So when this is closed, it doesn't come straight across and it gives you more space in your shoulders where you really need that to turn. So what looks like a smaller space almost doubles in size in the, air, in the area of your body where you need it and the upper body area. Our, our standard bathroom comes equipped with a toilet with a foot flush um, system which makes it much more simple for our customers to use the toilet. It also gives you a great amount of space in this floor plan to be able to sit on this toilet. Uh, some floor plans will turn the toilet in such a way where you really can't get a comfortable position. This certainly is not the case with the 2400B. Our countertop space, much like our kitchen space, has a sink cover that acts as more countertop space if you're not actually using the sink. So it fits perfectly over the sink in this oval shape, really easy to lift off and remove if need be. If you look towards the floor, we have motion sensored floor lighting in here. This is key for if you're getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or when it's dark out, this will automatically sense your motion and kick on to give you lighting uh, and enough lighting to be able to use the restroom without having to turn the light on in here and disturb your partner. Here in the bedroom, the Sunseeker 2400B features a wedged bed system. Now this system is phenomenal, not only because it's a, a memory foam mattress that's really, really comfortable, but it's because of how it operates. This bed is actually cut in half at a 45 degree angle. Now that seems scary at first, but the actual seam where that is always falls between your hips and your knees no matter where you're sleeping so you can never feel it. But the convenience of how we roll this in and out is really the key to this bed. When this, key, when this bed rolls in, this back part stays fixed. So you always have the ability, even if you're driving, to be able to get through this space. You can always get into the bathroom very easily. You can always open the refrigerator. What I like about it is when this rolls on top of itself, you can make the bed and then when you're ready to use the bed, you can roll it out without having to walk all the way around the bed to make the bed. So it's really convenient, really comfortable. I love this mattress. All Sunseeker MBSs and also this 2400B come standard with a bedroom 12 volt television conveniently placed at the end of the bed. Moving your eyes toward the back of this motorhome, we've given you a ample amount of storage space that I think would be any motorhomer's dream. This closet, which features three doors and tons of hanging space, gives you the ability to not only hang full sets of clothing, but gives you a ton of drawer and cabinet space below that space for items that you want to fold. We also give you the hanging rod that goes the entire length of this cabinet. And then all of your doors are going to have bulldog latches so they won't rattle while going down the road. Let's take a look at one more space before we go outside, and it's one of my favorite areas of the entire motorhome, it's the living area. Now, we've equipped this 2400B with the optional power 12-volt theater seats. Notice I said 12-volt again, so these are operating directly off the battery. This motorhome is not plugged in right now, the generator is not running. This uh, reclines to about zero degrees, so this, this could be a sleeping space, but for those com customers that absolutely need a dedicated sleeping space, don't worry, the standard for this motorhome is a U-shaped dinette that collapses directly into a twin bed. This 12-volt uh, theater seat also has USB ports here uh, for you know, charging any of your smart devices, and then you also have another one right behind your head here in this conveniently placed basket for things like iPads and, and phones and books and things that you need while sitting here. The 12 volt power theater seats do come standard with seat belts, so you don't lose those when you option this versus the dinette. And you do have these removable tables. So they're here, they're here for your, obviously for your eating or dining pleasure, uh, but they are removable if you don't need them and they can be stored easily in a cabinet above. The WineGuard Air Plus 360 is located conveniently right here above the entry door. The WineGuard Air 360 Plus gives you a two-in-one Wi-Fi hotspot and HD channels for your television. All you need to do as a customer is take your SD card to your local data provider and get a data plan. And this entire motorhome has Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you go. We're now here on the outside of the motorhome. We're gonna take a look at some of the key features on the Sunseeker 2400B, starting with the molded fiberglass front cap. Now this cap is designed to create compression 
around the front of this motorhome. We do that by having sideways and underfacing seams, also a seam that overlaps your roof. This creates a nice tight compression on the front of this motorhome, which really de decreases the chance for any kind of leakage. In addition, we have fiberglass insulation behind this cap to keep that cab area nice and cool on those hot summer days. Like all Sunseekers, this Sunseeker 2400B features a crown fiberglass roof material. This roof material is much more durable than the competition, uh, and it allows for water runoff during those rainy days. In addition, up in that space, we have our 190 watt solar panel, which connects directly to your 12 volt batteries, and your 15K AC with heat pump, which is standard on this motorhome. Moving down the side of the motorhome here, your sidewall. Not all sidewalls are created equally, I always say, and that's certainly the case on this motorhome. Our process, our vacuum bonded process of lamination is key because it gives you about 20 minutes of pressure when sucking all that air out of that chamber and adhering that wall together. But in addition, we have a fiberglass substrate in this sidewall that gives you a few benefits. The biggest benefit is it's completely water resistant. So if you ever were to get moisture into this sidewall, it's gonna wick completely off of that fiberglass substrate and highly, highly decrease the chance of any kind of delamination on this sidewall. A lot of our competition is using Luon in their sidewalls. Luon, as you well know, is wood. That can hold water. When you hold water in wood, it creates that bubbling effect or delamination. In addition, you have a higher R value. So this gives you an R value of two. So automatically, it's gonna have a higher R value than any of our competition that is using a Luon substrate in their sidewall. It's also a greater sound barrier, and it's a little bit stronger, so if there ever was a puncture on this sidewall, it's gonna protect you a little bit more on the inside of the motorhome. Every Sunseeker MBS has an option for an exterior 12-volt television. We always place it conveniently under your automatic awning. Uh, in addition, you're going to have a nice convenient door that hides it if you don't want to view that television. Looking below here, You've got your side view cameras, which we mentioned earlier on the inside. We place these on the side wall, unlike some of our competition that places them on the mirror. We do that because on the passenger side, if it's on your mirror, the leg of this awning actually gives you a blind spot in this space. So that's why we put it down here. Sometimes our customers miss that, but it's standard on every, every single Sunseeker MBS. Notice some of the storage on this motorhome. Not only does it have a an ample amount of storage, but all of our storage spaces have gray roto cast tubs with low point drains. I love these because they're easy to clean out because of that low point drain or any of them can be turned into a cooler if you're deciding to have uh, a gathering on the outside of this motorhome because that ice can then just melt and go right down that, that drain. All of these doors are also slam latch doors, so you just drop them and they'll close very, very easily for you. Our Sunseeker 2400B has an easy open door with a gas strut that stops at 90 degrees and an automated front step that can be turned on or off for your pleasure. I love this door and this strut because if you're coming home and you have a bunch of items in your hand, you can just let this open so the, slot, the step will come out and the door will stop at 90 degrees so then you can walk inside the motorhome. As we transition in here, there's a lot of really cool technology to talk about right when you enter this motorhome. But before we do that, I wanna show everybody where these 12 volt batteries I've been talking about so much are located, right here conveniently under the second entry step. And behind that, which is a really cool item, is a safe that's welded into the chassis. It's about 11 inches deep, about five inches tall, and about seven inches wide. We've designed this in actually every floor plan that we build to be able to hide some of those valuable items uh, like cash or, or documents that can fit directly into that space. It comes with a dedicated key that is specific to your motorhome only. On the side of the entry door here, uh, excuse me, on the side of the kitchen cabinet, you've got a lot of technology here. And we'll start with the four-point hydraulic leveling system, which is an option on this motorhome. Uh, you can control this from your smartphone through the Firefly system, through the touchpad itself, or actually through the uh, touchpad that's located right here at the entry door. This is a system that levels the coach front to back, side to side, as close to zero degrees as the computer deems necessary, uh, and it of course can be manually adjusted if need be. 
Right next to that is your readout for your 190 watt solar panel that's located on the roof. So that tells you up to the second uh, how many volts your batteries, are, your two house batteries are at. And even uh, to the left of that is one of your Bluetooth smart enabled touch pads, which controlled several of, the, several of the items on the outside of the motorhome, one of them being the electric awning. So if you notice, I can extend from here, which I can also do from my smartphone if need be. And I can very easily retract. In addition, lighting features on the exterior of the motorhome, which would be your awning light on and off, which is also set on a dimmer, your scare light, your porch light, and then a couple of the lights on the, directly on the interior of the motorhome in the kitchen and living room area. Located directly under your awning are the aforementioned JBL speakers. Uh, you'll have two of them out here. This is superior sound quality. Uh, for any time you want to be camping and, and uh, visiting outside of your motorhome. We use frameless jalousy style windows on Sunseeker MBS. These are not only very sleek looking, also tinted, but they give you the ability to open these windows during a rainstorm because they open from the top and, and the bottom opens so you can keep them open on those rainy days. If you look at these two items here, I've got my six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. This gives you 18 gallons of regeneration per hour if using gas and electricity at the same time. Your 30,000 BTU furnace. And backing up a little bit further here, a really cool feature, which is something we've been using for a few model years now, is our blind spot monitoring system. Now these are the sensors that are located here on either side of the rear of the motorhome. They detect when you have someone in your blind spot, 10 feet in front, up to 20 feet in back, and they will alert you inside the cab by flashing LED lights. If you have your blinker on, they're gonna flash LED lights and you're gonna hear a beeping sound to alert you that someone's in your blind spot. Here on the back of the motorhome, you'll notice we have a beautifully designed bumper with a dedicated spot for your license plate with a light. You have a hitch with a seven pin connector located directly next to that hitch. And then also notice to the right of that hitch, you have your Quick Connect propane, which is conveniently placed near the passenger side of the motorhome so you can connect a grill to your campsite. In addition, as we mentioned earlier, you do have your backup camera, uh, which is placed near the roof level of the center of this back wall. And this is that eagle eye technology that allows you to see all of your blind spots and about as far back as the human eye can see, but also directly down on this hitch if you are towing. We're located here on the driver's side of the motorhome, and I wanna point out the, the slide topper that covers this one massive full wall slide. Now, slide toppers are a standard feature, not only for Sunseeker MBS, but for all Sunseekers and it's a really, really key feature. It protects all of your seals that are all around this slide, but it also protects the top of that slide. And it does that by diverting water off of the top of the slide, but also, and probably more importantly, debris. When debris settles on top of that slide and that slide rolls in and out, it can start to wear down on some of those seals. So keeping those seals fresh is key to keeping any kind of water from diverting off of that slide when rolling it in and out. Looking down the side of the motorhome, this particular floor plan has most of its storage here on the driver's side, all with slam latch closed technology uh, for all of your exterior storage needs. All of our Sunseeker MBSs come standard with a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. Now, in addition to this, we upgrade our propane tank to 16.9 gallons to give you a longer life on your in-house AC when running that during those hot summer days. Behind this door, I want to point out our other side view camera on the driver's side here, which gives you a great view of the driver's side, and as I said earlier, eliminates all blind spots when driving down the road. Thank you so much for joining us today on this tour of the Sunseeker 2400B. Now, for more information on any specs, features, or options, please visit us at forestriverinc.com slash sunseeker. Remember, stay safe out there, and happy camping.